Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy TTTTTT's Atomic Toy Travels, and I'm back. And my camera's not focusing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me try and get it to focus. All right, so what's up, guys? It's your boy Tommy. I'm back in the bathroom because this is where I used to film videos. You know, classic sitting on the toilet doing a toy uh, video right here, right now. So here's the thing. I haven't done many toy videos in a very long time. Apologies for that, but I'm just winding up for the best end of 2017 ever because there's never been a 2017, so I figured, Let's make it the best thing ever! Alright, so this is from Ringside Collectibles. It's a little shop. Have any of you heard of them? I think you have. So, uh, in this box, there are many toys and many cool things. So, let's just, let's just get to it. I don't think I need to do a sick dab. I don't think I need to get as hyped. Because the thing is, this is going to be a roasting, toasting, boasting, toasting festival. Because you have no clue what's in here, but I do. Oh, wow. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna say something right here. Mattel, screw you. Um, so what I have in here are the new B -b 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 basics. This is probably the figure everyone's freaking excited for. It is K -K -K Corey Graves. And I think uh, this figure doesn't apply to what I'm about to tell you because uh, even though his articulation at the arms is a little different, they still retain what looks to be leg movement. I could be wrong, feet movement and that stuff, but this is Corey Graves. I'll give them a dab for this figure for making Corey Graves, even though I'm not even sure if that actually looks like him in that picture. Maybe you can tell me in the comments or something. But get ready to flush these toys down the toilet because we are getting into the poodoo session, the trash. This is literally the worst Roman Reigns figure ever. It's like they took that previous Roman Reigns and they removed basic articulation to make it something, as my boy Awesomeness Reborn says, is on the flex force level, but it doesn't have the flex force movement. Mattel, what is the deal with this? Look at, look at this, guys. He, he has none of the classic articulation you've come to know and love. It's just like, it just rotates, it doesn't bend. So this is Poodoo. Hey, Mattel, this, this Finn Balor figure, it's the most boring Finn Balor figure we have ever seen. Consider that a roast host, because this one is trash. Just throw it in my trash can if you guys didn't see. And you know what, Mattel? Why are you cutting so many costs? on these darn gadoodle figures because like look at this Seth Rollins look at that articulation it's trash and you know what you just came out with your quarter I'm talking to Mattel not you guys you just came out with you just made the list Mattel because you came out with your quarter three earnings and you said that they were basically super duper disappointing and I wonder why you're no longer making a lot of money when you're cutting costs to make it so that no one other than reviewers who like to torture themselves by reviewing your trash uh, have to buy your stuff, basically, to let everyone know how trash it is. But whatever, Mattel, keep on going because as I did, as I went to your one month stock price, you can see that very recently they've been doing very poorly. Very poorly. And Mattel, you think that this is gonna save you? You think that toys, this trash is gonna save you? Well then, I got some, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Hipster Tommy is here to let you know I like WWE Mattel figures before they became bad. And let's cut a dab to that news. But really guys, um, for real, Mattel's not doing well. They're blaming Toys R Us going out of business, but really, I think it's the classic thing where they're blaming someone else instead of seeing their own shortcomings. And Awesomeness Reborn did make an incredible video on this subject. I'll link it at the end. But that's not all guys, Halloween is next door to this video. So, your boy needed a Halloween costume, so let's, let's, is this a John Cena head? Did I just... Oh, guys, I've always wanted to kiss John Cena on the lips, and this is my opportunity. I missed! 
All right, I, I haven't actually wanted to kiss him on the lips. I lied. All right, guys, do I... Hold on. Do I look like John Cena? Hustle, loyalty, respect. You can't see me. I think I look more like a, a, a killer or something in this mask than John Cena. This is like the spookiest mask I've ever owned. You can't see me. Because I want to eat your flesh. I am the one that hides in your closet. Not really though, but that's uh, that's a really kind of weird, kind of cool mask of John Cena. It's really freaking creepy and it's giant compared to my head. You see that? And I'm bald now. Hey guys, check it out, I'm bald. Um, so I'll put this back on. Let's get hipster Tommy back here. I liked John Cena before he was a big headed freak. And then of course, it's ringside collectibles, so I had to get some more things. Um, who's your who's your favorite person who is competing with Braun Strowman right now? If you said Kane, then that's the right answer. My name is Kane, the Demon Kane. This works well, so let's cut a Kane dab. I look like David Bowie in this thing. Hey guys, I'm David Bowie. Happy Bowie to you. Hey guys. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Hipster Kane. I just came back from an art gallery where I had my fidget spinner. But then again, I could be John Cena over this because that mask is so big. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, your boy John Cena. I will haunt your nightmares because you can't even see my eyes. My eyes. These hills have eyes. These hills have eyes. So guys, to sum up this trash, trash video, I will say this. These are my last remarks. Mattel, you're going downhill. You get everyone hyped up for figures, but we all know you're cutting costs. Stop it. Stop it. For real. For real. I want to review good toys. You know, I'm a reviewer. So uh, stop it. We all want to cut sick dabs. And uh, if any of you know how many dabs I cut in this video, maybe let me know. Maybe I should get an official dab counter for each video. If any of you think you uh, have the qualifications to do that, let me know in the comments. But until then, this is the only one I kind of recommend from this set. But, uh, Mattel. Mattel. Your earnings, they're down. These toys are trash. I don't want to have to any more bash. But you know what? Your stock is about to crash. And you're gonna see a lot of backlash if you keep this up. Was that a diss track or was that just a roast? Let me know in the comments, guys. I'm gonna end this video because it's almost at the 10 minute mark and I don't want you guys to think that I'm just doing this for the rev. I'm doing this so I can roast Mattel. So I'll see you guys next time, which will probably be Sunday or something. I don't know. I don't know what I have planned in the future, but yes, this was a Ringside Collectibles unboxing. Hopefully I can do more in the future. I'll see you guys later.